Okay. We've been doing a lot of side stuff, and I think it's time to finally follow up on the whole limb clinic situation. And this is not what I was expecting. Well, I mean, it's what I should have expected it to look like. A run-down, abandoned location, covered in graffiti, broken glass, all that, all that, not all that noise, basically. I wonder, is there... Oh, there's, there was red on the window, okay. I thought I saw a glimpse of red on, like, the sheets back there, and I thought there was also, I thought it was also a murder scene to top everything else off, but no. Just a shut down limb clinic, which is, it's nasty, because it's the type of place that should probably be functioning so people that have their uh, augments can get neuropathy and everything. It bodes poorly for everyone else. But apparently I have the code. And apparently I'm, I don't get in trouble for being in here. Which is good, so I don't have to stealth my way in or anything. I, kn I knew we were meeting here, so I didn't know if I had to be a little sneaky about it at all. Anything stashed about? The place was probably raided by now, huh? So even if it ever had neuropathy, it's probably gone. It's the first. It's the first place people would look if they needed it. Is that a blood bag? What is that? Seems like it. You down here? Ooh, what's that? Oh. Hey, glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Oggs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating this city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. We've been working together for a few months now. I still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Oh, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Anus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's, someone in the Collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. Okay, so... Did they just never tell the voice actor that it's not pronounced Prague, or is the character supposed to pronounce it that way? Is what I'm wondering. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Vessel Life, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because ARC don't operate in North America. They're setting up ARC, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. Sounds to me like Miller's following orders. It also sounds like he's not happy about it. All right, whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. You can't say the same about the man he's talking to. His boss, Joseph Manderley. Director of TF-29 operations worldwide. The only person at Interpol higher than him is the General Secretariat. 
We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about VersaLife? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. VersaLife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet, the only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? VersaLife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for breaking? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. I just gotta wonder how powerful her energy cells are if she can cloak for that long. Because Adam, Adam lasts like a moment. Granted, I haven't been upgrading them that much. I've been mostly upgrading the recharge rate so I can use them frequently rather than for long periods of time. Let's see here. Gotta do a once over this place, right? Oop, credit chip. Scrap. That's a good start. What's under here? Aha! I see you in here. Those are some major things just to have stashed around in one spot. Probably don't need anything new. There's probably nothing new on the newspaper by now, right? Yeah, they're still talking about the terrorist attack at the uh, at the station. That was that was the beginning of the game, basically. Modern business review. Editorial. Corporatocracy is not a dirty word. Anti-capitalist radicals will cite the passing of the Corporate Sovereignty Act 2017 in the United States. The establishment of pro-corporate institutions such as Palisade Property Bank established 2017 and the policy change that allows large corporations to sit on the UN Security Council 2021 as sure signs that the world is no longer run by sovereign governments but by multinational conglomerates. And what is wrong with that? And what is wrong with that? Corporate power should be thought of as a mode of political power, because ultimately, corporations are the people and represent the people's interests in their best interests. Is that, is that how those? Oh, the people's interest in their best, best interests. Every corporation's mandate includes economic growth, expansion, and development, all desirable, all desirable and necessary goals for the well-being of human society. And arguably, history has shown that they have been much more successful at this than most governments. So as expected, the organization that I'm working with has been ma manipulated in some way by someone that it doesn't have the best interests at heart, more or less. The question is just how high it goes. Kind of like how what the uh, we kept getting more and more reasons to be suspicious of Seraph, and yeah, at the end of the day, Seraph wasn't the best person, so their suspicions weren't totally wrong. But the uh, we kept thinking he was behind everything when ultimately it was actually the person working right next to him. I didn't pick up a surprise new objective, right? Yeah, the only thing I haven't done so far is the shooting range. I might not bother. That sounds boring. <laughs> Going to a shooting range? Let's shoot some targets in a video game, but not 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 targets in a mission. Simula like you're already shooting simulated targets by playing a video game. Who wants to play? Who wants to fight uh, simulated targets in a game? Oh, that already has simulated targets, like a simulations version uh, version of a simulation. <laughs> that always feels silly. All right, four, four, six, five. So we're going to learn about Golem, this place that they always threaten to send all the Ogs to. Except Jensen will hopefully be going in with a plan on how to get out, is, I'm sure, the whole idea. But I'm I'm guessing we're going to learn what it's like to basically be in an augment, sl an augment slum. Hello, Chip. Gotta grab what you can around here. What was that? Oh, just a radio. Oh, there's something. 
Obviously, I'm curious about what's up here. Come on. Grab. Okay, fine. I'll jump first. Hup. Get out here. Okay, I, I actually am not allowed to throw it. Interesting. <laughs> I could only I could only drop it. The throw button wasn't working or doing anything really. Anything behind? Nope. Dead end back there. This mostly just seems like an alternate way to get to the same place. Maybe not. I was in. Ah, uh, no. I was in a room directly that I think directly connected to where I was supposed to go. So this is something underneath. Okay. And there's like a staircase that'll take me back up. Interesting. You've got me interested. Hello. More processing chips. Found the bathroom. Thank you. Some person's boots. I'll grab all the damn beer. It's all sellable. <laughs> No regrets except for all the parts that are regrettable. Uh, there are a few things I can go through here. All right. Oh, a gun. More ammo for me to not use. Uh, oopsie. Well, I guess I'll just be a scumbag now. But are those dresses or overcoats? They've got gold. They've got chromed out gold uh, collars. They just look so absurd. Future fashion. It's shiny and weird. Ooh, sci-fi. It's always funny. It's always funny to some level. Is there anything else? Nope, I think that's all we're getting from here. Oh, never mind. So at some point, someone's going to pick up on the fact that every time Jensen goes through a building, all of the uh, locks get punched off. And then he's not going to have any friends. I'm just kidding, he doesn't have friends. At most, he has that one lady that kind of works with him. I probably didn't even need to use the vent to get down there. Uh, maybe it was locked. I didn't check. That almost looks like the head of a missile. Some massive propane tanks. Hello. Oh. I had missed you previously. Neat. And you. Aha! Crafting parts. Like the number one thing I hope to find. And they're everywhere. And they're all mine. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, we're back outside. Alright. I believe that's my ride. I don't need stairs. Woo! Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on chicane. So tell me about this new lead then. The IntelliCam footage. State police dropped it off this morning. Badly corrupted. But Cheng worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie. Dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? You got an ID? Couldn't see his face, but the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. Here's your cane now. You're right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy enough. So we've already decided he's guilty? We just need to talk to him on our terms. Not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. 
Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmail would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utelek complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I'd made a deal with an arc prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promised to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past Ark's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at a department in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? You ask me. Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. These days, the lines tend to be blurred. But Rucker was a highly respected doctor, with no military training. What am I missing here? Rucker is a man of deeply held convictions, with an unshakable belief in his own righteousness. Doesn't take much to push a man like that to terrorism. Man's a zealot. He's a suspect. Just bring him in. You really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to tell us, Rucker, and bring him in, Agent. Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. Oh, damn, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? No. I like my limp. Keeps me honest. You ready to light out? You're my only backup on this one. Before we leave, I'd like to know you've actually got my back. Trust me. I flew ten years in the SAAF and five in the private sector moving corporate heads. And in all that time, I've never lost a fare. How many years with TF-29? Two, which is a year and a half longer than you, from what I understand. So you want to keep talking resumes, waste more of our time? Will you trust me to get the job done? Let's do this. Good. Strap in. pre-game ritual you've got there. You're getting pissed enough to end this guy yet. I got a no-kill order. Is that right? Would have thought he'd done enough to warrant extreme prejudice. How far out are we? Coming up on it now. Not many spots I can set her down. You got a preference? Get as close to the ground as you can. I'll take it from there. Whatever you say, boss.
Jensen. Still got all your parts together? I'm fine. How close did you get me to our contact's location? I was in Unit 237. Jesus, Jensen. I didn't put you on his doorstep. Residential sector should be just ahead of you. Me? I'm gonna switch to autopilot, have a coffee. Let me know if things get interesting. There's no reason to be all Jesus, Jensen. Since he's just asking basic information about where he, where we, where we, where he landed. All the friction. I miss Malik. Malik was better. <laughs> Didn't give me no lip. What is that stuff over there? Oh, fire hazards. Huh? That's cute. So this place is a nightmare, basically, right? This is. Yep. This is the augment, the augment ghetto, basically. What a happy place. You know, you can keep your painkillers. It's just waves of noise and suffering sort of sounds, and that's it. Is that guy dead? He's dead. That's a dead man. What a happy place to be in. Well, I'll take his crafting parts. Alright, what- are you dead too? No, he's asleep. Do you know you're sleeping next to a dead guy? Oh. Oh, that's not- that might not be good. Is that neuropazine or is that the- the trance drug? Can't help but notice they both have one and one of them's dead. <laughs> My dear Oscar, of course I forgive you. I wish I could be there to hold you, to hold you and help you. Please hold on. There's always hope. Love, Mom. Uh, he had, Oscar had said, "Hi, Mom. I know it's been a while. I wound up in Golem City. I know you warned me not to get augmented. I know you said I was wasting and destroying what God gave me, and maybe you were right. I don't know. It's horrible here. Ark had some aid workers. They give us neuropazine when they can, but." It's never enough, and the pain is so bad I turned to Neon. It was good at first, but now I can't stop. I don't know how much longer I can hold out. I feel like... Ju I, I, I just feel like giving it up. I'm so sorry. Is this... Is there any chance you can forgive me for all the things I said and did? And now he's dead. Probably died for a Neon o overdose, or from mixing Neon with Neuropazine, because we've been over how that just straight up kills people. The fact that Neon's even reaching Golem means that everything's gone to shit anyway, and trying to trying to shut that down really didn't prevent anything. The drug that specifically shouldn't be given to Ogs is in the is has been distributed to the city, where literally all that's here is Ogs, which means that's just that's like that's just criminal intent at that point. Like you, they were like at, at least in the main city, they're trying to not to give it to Ogs because it's like. Even if it's for selfish reasons, like it's being bad for press and stuff like that. But here, uh, they're just straight up giving it straight to the Ogs, where the only people it's gonna reach are more Ogs. And that's fucked. That's just a. It's like putting out cyanide capsules to the public and calling it, uh, LSD. Hack everything! Hack everything! Ha ha ha! <laughs> Access granted. Almost ready to level my stuff. Oh, I am. We're getting ready to level stuff up then. Cool. Alright. I have two points available. Ah, uh, I go into remote hacking, but people have told me that it doesn't that uh, apparently doesn't affect things that uh it apparently doesn't affect the same type of hacking sources as other hacking does. Like, you can't hack a door with it necessarily, but you hack new things. I do think it would have helped me in that elevator situation, because I could have hacked it to make me go up. So it's a, it's a new it's a new trick, so I think I want to go for it regardless. But, I could put those two points towards maxing out my, uh, hacking up to level 4 and 5, and stuff like that. Eh, it's always tempting to grab something new, though, right? So the one I was not- yeah, Nanoblade's probably the one I don't want to use. Even though it's the one they show off in every damn cutscene. Yeah, let's, uh... We're going to disable Nanoblade. Um... Which I do by... Do I do it in here? Cr 
crap. How do I disable things? <laughs> I don't actually... There was like a button I would do. And I don't remember because it was so long ago. There we go. So when you click on one thing, you get the change deactivation status pr process. There we go. So, de so deactivate, slice, get remote hacking. There we go. So you have to enable one mod to get the ability to disable a different mod. I was looking for the option like a crazy person for a while there. Alright. So the next phase will allow me to temporarily disable robots, turrets, and security cameras at a distance. Ooh. How great would that be? Like, oh, what's that? There's a camera in my way now. It's turned off. Just gonna walk past it. Like, that's crazy hacking mode. We'll still want to be able to activate... We're still gonna want to be able to turn up various other abilities, though. There we go. We still need to upgrade my normal hacking for various reasons. These are... Oh, that has stuff in it. There's, of course, like, a slightly darker part about every time I take anything around here, because I'm potentially stealing it from... I'm probably stealing from, uh... People who are parts of the whole... You know, being trapped, trapped in a ghetto this entire time. Which is a bad... a bad place to be, and I'm making their lives worse, potentially. I don't know, maybe if I look in this computer, I'll find out how good or bad the person is I'm stealing from. No, it's, it's, uh, to some extent, it's a bit of a gameplay conceit. You just kind of accept the idea that you're stealing from people, but realistically, like, maybe that's a bad thing, and maybe, maybe if you're gonna go full role-playing with your moment-to-moment -moment gameplay, you wouldn't steal from anyone ever. Out of office re uh, reply. Nothing you expect to hear about when you're in the golem. Oh, yep, got an automatic response saying that they're out of office. The main message was, uh... Was it, it's Dr. Martin Onzima? Yeah. Administrator Burke, sending it to Ray, uh, Adam and uh, Rayhor Burke. Yeah. I understand that contacting you directly is a little unorthodox, but the situation here is getting out of hand. I can say now, in no uncertain terms, that the PCR have been stealing our aid shipments. I spoke with Dr. Logan last night, and he mentioned that he found over a hundred... Uh, charcoal water filters dumped into a sewage drain near the po uh, police block. Water filters I was expecting in the last shipment. As you can guess, they are completely useless to us now. As a result of our shipment being stolen, I have reached out to the Augmented Rights Coalition to, uh, for help. Talos Rucker has assured me that if the organization could send any additional aid to Udalek, he and his people would, will ensure that the shipments are secured and delivered to us. In the meantime, ARC has been kind enough to supply us with fresh vegetables from their greenhouses. Please, Administrator Burke, I understand that this request is stretching the organization's resources, but the people are dying. I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. And he's out of office, so they didn't get a message anyway. Wow. Way to go, PCR. You're literally taking water filters and, and destroying them just so they can't get water? Really? Like, so the, the entire police force is just in absolute, like, prejudice mode, and, like, they're not... they're not even gonna slightly work to make this place better. And there's just a non-stop background shatting noise from here, isn't there? Uh, stolen aid shipments. Dr. Onzima? This is... oh, this is Burke responding. Firstly, I'm sorry to hear about the trouble of the complex. While the organization strives to provide aid to as many people around the world as possible, we cannot put focus on one area over another. Yes, the situation in the Ulek complex is dire. Yes, the people there are uh, deserve our attention, but so do many others around the world. I won't bore you with the numbers, Dr. Onzima, but doubling our efforts in Ulek would be to the detriment of one of the other programs. I am sorry, but you and Dr. Logan will have to rely on what you have already have available to you uh, to get to the next scheduled shipment arri- uh, uh, get you to the through until the next shipment arrives in 43 days. <laughs> Now, on the subject of seeking assistance from the Augmented Rights Coalition, I must say, Dr. Ozema, I am very disappointed to hear this. We cannot work with nor consider assistance from any group that is associated with terrorism, proven or not. If word, uh, if word this gets out to our, uh, to our donors, I hate to imagine what would happen to our funding. Please disassociate from Talos Rucker and the Augmented Rights Coalition immediately. Everything being said, I do hope you're keeping well. Jeez. Not helpful at all, really. So they're they're saying they can't help 
expand anything because they're already at their limits, but at the same time telling them not to seek outside help because it makes them look bad, which admittedly, yeah, like it, it could be detrimental to a humanitarian society to be associated with terrorism, but at the same time, if the, the, if the terrorism's not proven... Like it, it's no, it's no way that the terrorist part's not proven, but also that like, the like they need resources, and if they have other ways of trying to keep people alive, how do you can you ignore that? Administrator Burke, wait. Oh, that's a response to their email, right? Greetings, Doctor Ozima. Is this the uh, the Santo Security Services relocations at Santo Corp? Greetings, Dr. Ozima. We are, uh, hope you're, uh, that you find our new housing unit inside the Uta complex to your liking. Please refer to your registered resident guide before sending any questions you may have. As a security measure, your safe is currently assigned to a temporary code 9990. You can reset this code to your own preference before securing any items inside. Thank you, and have a pleasant day. So, yeah. I, uh, I got the code to this safe. Without it, I wouldn't have to hack it. But also... I got the context of knowing that this is in fact uh, this is in fact a humanitarian aid building and uh, I'm robbing them of parts because I'm apparently a monster. Ooh! That remote hacking opportunity. Can I hack that too? You can. Let's, let's test this out here in a low threat environment. There we go. Alright, that, that'll take a little practice. There we go. I just need to press square. Uh, I need to press X right when it gets over the the notch. All right. And that remote hacking has a range to it, doesn't it? Boom! Take that firewall. <laughs> All right. That's interesting. That's an interesting little trick. All right. That'll be a fun thing to get used to. I might need them in here too. And here I am continuing to steal from the people I just talked about, knowing. I now, I now know who they are, and that's not stopping me. I can't help it. RPG, RPG, I can't escape my feelings. Rabia, a brown new world. That's a hell of an image right there. Look at that guy. In a recent interview, Nathaniel Brown described Rabia as a haven for Oggs, further revealing that the self sufficient city in the desert is costing over $7 million per day to build. Santos CEO seemed unperturbed. It's not just the money that keeps me doing what I do, a honeyed brown opine to, to camera. Rabia is giving augmented people all over the world an opportunity to rebuild their lives in dignity. It's a win-win scenario for everyone, and I'm proud to be involved. Inspiring, isn't it? In other news, Brown will attempt to walk on Santo branded water uh, before turning into wine and toasting his investors. The idea of Brown being hailed as some kind of business saint is repugnant. Reports out of Verbia paint a picture of indentured og workers ransomed to pittance salaries with promises of a palace in uh, a place in paradise. Trouble is, the only people getting tickets are those willing to buy them in Santo's money. The projected capacity of Santo land, sorry, Verbia, is 101,500. There are 7.1 million augmented survivors since the tragic incident, but uh, by my reckoning, that's roughly one for every daily dollar spent building a paradise most can't afford. Will Brown make them pay to dig their own graves next? Taeyong Medical, a chip off the old block. Worry not, dear Rogs, for the chip... Uh, for the chip... What? Oh. Worry not, dear Oggs, for the chip the UN demands you swallow or be d damned apparently unobtrusively supports intrinsic nervous control of installed augmentation. What's more, you will now be considered safe against involuntary aberrations as an expected behavior. Excellent. This alarmingly dystopian lingo is borrowed directly from the documentation written by Tai Young Medical, the chip's manufacturer. The tech giant is no stranger to this kind of controversy either. Wasn't it TYM that su supplied a quick fix biochip to repair malfunctioning augments back in 2027, only days before the incident occurred? Now, barely a year later, there's another quick fix chip with the very same uh, from the very same experts. No aberrations and expected behavior from TYM either. And then a comical little image of a uh, puppeted UN. All right. Wow. 
This is one of... Oh, it's Sam is not. I didn't even read the top. I'm, I, I don't think we've ever established the idea of alternate competing newspapers before. I mean, obviously we've introduced this character before when we talked to them. I just mean like we haven't necessarily... Uh, in, in the previous game, I believe, whenever I picked up a newspaper, they were, every newspaper around the world was the same exact newspaper. But this is the... Uh, this is the independent journalism. That's why they have all got these comical images and they're all ap actively spiteful and everything. There's a completely different tone, huh? 